Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Welcome to another episode of Ditch the Box. Today I'm going to show you something brand new for Microsoft Teams and Crestron. It's the Teams panel. These Teams panels are from Crestron. They're the only vendors that actually have certified devices at this point. This is the 7 inch model and this is the 10 inch model. So these scheduling panels themselves have been out for a little while from Crestron they can be used with a number of platforms. I think it's about 15 or 17 platforms on the back end, and the Microsoft Teams interface is brand new. The Teams panel experience was only certified just recently, within the last couple of weeks. And what that effectively means is these panels are actually running a Teams client from Microsoft as an application on the device itself. Management of the devices is just like any other Crestron experience. You've got that familiar web UI with the same menu icons, the same tabs, and the same choices. To choose the Teams interface, you go into Applications and choose from a drop-down list and hit Microsoft Teams or Teams panel. You can also manage these from the XIO cloud and get into the same menu as you can from the web UI and even do remote control on the devices. So what's notable about the panels themselves? The panels have a screen and on the back is actually what's called a light bar. The light bar doesn't come with the screen, it's actually an accessory. This accessory magnetically attaches to the back of the screen and then it plugs into the to the gubbins at the back via USB to draw its power. So what's notable about the panels themselves, the screen will most likely be used in a number of other devices. You buy the screen or scheduling panel by itself. On the back of this is what's called a light bar. The light bar magnetically attaches to the main screen and then it draws its power from a USB cable that plugs into the very back. The panels are wall mountable, so you've got an interface where you can mount them to drywall. You've also got a mullion interface to, to mount on glass that actually hides the cables along the side. And there's a number of other things. There's also a universal mount that you can mount to any surface. I've actually just got these on back boxes so they'll stand upright. And then I've got the power over ethernet cable attached to the back anyway. You've also got some more accessories, for instance, a presence fin that sticks out of the wall, which you can get laser etched with logos or room names, uh, room numbers, that kind of thing, and then plug it into the second USB interface. The Teams panel interface is not unlike other interfaces you might have seen. So you've got the calendar on the right here. This will show you actually all the meetings that you've got upcoming. You've got a big stage up here that will actually show you the current meeting that's scheduled and a reserve button. The reserve button actually schedules a Teams meeting. So if I press reserve, it comes up with an ad hoc meeting interface. I can choose the start time of the meeting and then press reserve. And that will actually schedule a Teams meeting and then reserve the room. You'll notice the light bar actually changed to red. You can actually change the default colors. If you don't want red for a busy room, you can go back to purple or another color as you need to. To get out the settings, you just got the little gear icon down there and you can get out all the settings underneath. I'm not going to take you through to show you what all that is. Like every Crestron screen, if you hold five fingers on the screen for I think it's 30 seconds, you'll actually go into another submenu underneath. I'm not going to bore you with that right now, but suffice it to say, if you're an administrator and you know what you're doing, you can actually get at some additional settings in the back end. This area on the left here is actually what's going to be really notable. So right now the Teams panel doesn't do a lot. It'll show you the calendar, it allows you to actually reserve a room, and it shows you the status of that room that the device is actually hanging outside of. But this area on the left will actually house some additional buttons. Some of the things I've actually seen are things like a doorbell. So for instance, if this is signed into the same account that your Microsoft Teams room is signed in with, if you press the doorbell, it will flash up something on the screen itself to indicate that you've got somebody waiting. You've also got the ability to search for nearby rooms by, by bringing up a floor plan and that kind of thing. Those buttons aren't there yet. They're something for the future, but it's definitely an exciting time. You can see the calendar and you can see that you've got space for the future. The fact that you can reserve a room ad hoc with the touch of a button is definitely a win. Not that you'll ever find a room that's unoccupied or unbooked in any office location. The panels themselves are available now. As I said, they'll work with Crestron native, they'll sign in to Exchange, and you can create your own layout and that kind of thing. So it definitely gives you a lot of flexibility. You can either start with the Teams panel interface and use it as it is now, or you can choose another interface that suits the requirements that you might have. As the Teams panel interface matures and it gets more features, maybe you can go back to that in the future. 
So again, I've been showing you the Crestron Microsoft Teams panels, the TSS 770 and 1070. They're available now, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.